today we're just doing another video on uh, Copenhagen Black one more time. Um, I want to see if I can do like a YouTube reviews on each type of uh, tobacco just to keep it a little more uh, original and not skipping so far ahead. And um, all the birds in the background. I got my window open. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good morning. And so we've got some Copenhagen Black here. And um, so far it's been good. I mean, uh, it can give you a little bit of a burn, but not really. Um, I've had a small case of Gator Loop, and don't worry about that. That's uh, you are dipping Copenhagen Black in your beginner. Uh, gator lip is basically just wrinkles. It just feels like wrinkles in your lip. That ain't nothing. Uh, it's basically like when you press down on your skin for a long period of time, like when you're sleeping and you wake up and you've got all these lines on you. It's just where that tobacco in one spot has been sitting for a while. And it usually won't happen unless you dip for long periods of time and dip constantly during the day. You know, 11 or 12 times a day, then you probably might get it with Copenhagen Black. But it, as far as I've as far as I can tell. As far as I can tell, it's a fantastic dip. Uh, smell not too bad. Like I said in my last video, it kinda smells like fish bait. Uh, but it tastes really good if you can get past smell then it's pretty good but uh yeah you need like smell a vision for you I spilled some my laptop Yeah, I want to give a couple shout outs here because I said I would to um, some channels I'm hoping I can uh, be accompanied with and uh, make a group. Um, Real Dipper 24. Um, sorry, hang on. There's going to be a couple of them. Uh, one more thing, Cameron Prophet. I went to the store up here. They do not sell Skull Berry. They said that they did have it previously, but nobody was buying it. It was getting old, so they threw it out. And then I went to the store across the road. They didn't have it either, so I'm going to have to get it either sometime this evening when I go to pick my brother up from school. And, uh, do it maybe tomorrow. Uh, I'm so sorry, Cameron, but uh, good hopes. I'm trying. Uh, Chris dips one. Dippers vids. Uh, Joey Leds dipping 94. Live to thrill. Midwestern dipper. Mud jug one. Outlaw. Real Dipper 24, Redneck Soldiers, uh, Redneck Nation Co, Southern 17, Juggalo 38, uh, The Bourbon Dipper, and Underground Dipper. Um, I'm hoping I can be accompanied with them soon. I sent them messages on their uh, on their YouTubes. And, uh, Hoping they can get back to me pretty soon. Um, but yeah, so we've got that out of the way. Now, what do we do in every video, guys? Like Outlaw says, you gotta crack back, crack back and spit. Yeah, well, this one's already cracked. So, packed up there. You know what, this is 
is actually a little dry. Now that I think about it. Yeah, it's almost hard to pack now. You know. Seems to happen with me. I got bad luck. with the whole music thing. Um, I like putting the music into the videos and I really like the song I've been using. But, uh, God, I got dip hiccups. But, I've got a few cans that I've picked up right here. So yeah, we got a couple cans that we can review on later. But uh, as far as this goes, I just want to know what y'all want me to do with this can because I'm not going to dip it. Um, and I'm working toward getting a mud jug here soon. Heck yeah, mud jug one. You rock, dude. And uh, yeah, so uh, leave down in the comment section below what you want me to do with that can, what you want me to try, and what you want me to do. general I speak English sometimes but uh yeah this uh leave it down there and uh hope those guys get back to me shout out to all of them they're awesome guys and uh I'll catch y'all in the next video <coughs> good so a little dip